Hello, friends. I've been thinking a lot about the concept of legacy lately. Is that something that you ever think about? Like, what is it that gets carried forward? What, you know, how do you leave your mark? Or what is it that the contribution that you've made, how does that follow through in generations to come? I know, I know for those of you who have kids or grandkids, you know, perhaps this is something that you already uh, encounter because you see a continuation of your bloodline or your familial lines, um, as well as any other legacies you may leave. For those of us who don't have kids like me, you know, it'd be, I think it becomes a little bit more amorphous. It's something that I don't, haven't really thought about a lot over a lifetime. And now, you know, in my early seventies, it's something that I think about a lot. And I've had an opportunity to have that land for me a couple times this year. The first time was when I was teaching my end of the year, Nourish the Flame Qigong event. Uh, and I noticed that in the Zoom room of, I don't know, 100 or whatever amount of people, I had um, their students who had become teachers of the Way of Joy, who were also had students who were teachers, who also had students. So there were four generations of the Way of Joy, which is my particular hybrid version of Qigong, something I've drawn from several different lineages and legacies to create my own um, contribution to this vast world that gets called Qigong. Um, and as I was realizing that that there were these different generations of people who were taking the concepts that I have derived from my studies and then moving it through themselves, that this was like a moment of like, for me, I mean, it was just like, oh, this is getting carried forward one way or another. Um, this something about the amount of work and love and energy that I poured into my learnings and my teachings that that really it just really moved me and then I had a second opportunity recently when I was visiting with my dear friends chosen family um visionary women who I uh, I find tremendous inspirators and paradigm shifters uh Allison Kenny and Lynn Johnson uh who have opened up a new playback theater company called High Desert Playback. Do check it out, highdesertplayback.com. Um, and they, um, they I, I got an opportunity to be there for their first, the launch of their first full length show. And these are two people that I've worked with in playback um, and who gave me some shout outs around how, what I've done and how I've worked with this particular theater form has influenced how they run their company and some of what the things that they consider. And this for, was so important for me. This is a, an amazingly talented group of people, um, queer people of color who uh, whose voices are to me the, the wave of the real future. When I think about what it is that we're shifting right now in this time of chaos, um, that these are people who give me enormous amounts of hope and hearing these shout outs of like, oh, we are here because of what we're drawing forward from the work that we've done with you, hearing that named um, and then recognizing that there was truth in it. It was again, this moment of legacy. Oh, I have passed something forward of value where what is getting centered and called upon is what I treasure the most, which is who, who are the leaders of our future. So, and who are the thought leaders and the artists and the people who really know how to look at things, reflect, make a different type of world out of what they create. So this is a moment where, again, it was a, I, I was so grateful to both of them for their acknowledgement and their um, honoring me in this way, but also to see how that work is not, it's not only about me, but how things that I may have carried forward myself from my mentors and trainers is getting carried in another generation and yet another generation through their wisdom, through their talent, through their contribution, through their values, through all of that, that makes me feel so much in that we are interconnected, we are in a web of life, these influences really matter. How you carry yourself in the world really matters. So are these some thoughts that ever you think about? Do you have a sense of what your legacy is? What is it that you're carrying forward? I'd love to hear if you want to drop me a line or post a note or whatever. I, I, I'd love to know what your thoughts are about legacy and what matters to you that might get carried forward from the work that you do and the being that you are.
Thanks for listening.